Hi, Leon. Congratulations. Um, what does it mean to you to come to your first NCAA championships and uh, two wins, um, a record, a second place finish? Just take me through kind of the emotions, the thoughts going through your head um, at the end of this meet. Um, that's that's amazing because I didn't know I would be that fast. Um, I won two events and finished second on the podium. So yeah, that's great. That's a very good, very good result for me. Uh, this is my first year, so I have time to improve and. First time swimming in short course yards this season. Are the times actually on your mind at all, or are you just thinking about race strategy? I mean, you gave a fist pump at the end of the race, but I'm curious if you know that if you have goal times specifically. Uh, I don't have goal times. I'm just trying uh, for each race. I'm trying to push my own limits, uh, trying to be the best of myself, <laughs> and just uh, yeah, like applying what I'm doing in training and. Yeah, just give everything. <laughs> now that the meet's concluded, what takeaways will you have moving forward with your future NCAA championships being just a freshman? Um, I think next year I will have to improve my. I need to manage a little bit more because uh, like four days at NCAA is very hard for me. <laughs> like you have like there's so much intensity in every race, so it's very hard to be competitive every day, uh, so I will have to manage more my recovery and everything. <laughs> yeah, with everything you've, you know, making it through your first NCAA meet, with everything you have accomplished, has that um, opened, opened your mind to what you may be capable of or what you think you're capable of moving forward, especially into this summer? Yeah, I think it's been since the Olympics that um, um, I feel way more confident in myself, and I feel like I can, I can be so much better in each event. Uh, and this kind of meet is like, yeah, it's improving my, my mind, and I feel like I can do so much things now. Um, in two days, I have the meet in San Antonio. It's in long course, and I have to do the cut for the World Championship, so I'm very excited for, for it. I believe your dad's first Olympics was in this pool, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Can you talk about uh, what that means to you and if there was anything he told you about this before you came? Uh, yeah, this is very cool because he made a final here on the 2IM. He went, I think, seventh or something. Uh, this is a great pool. At the time, it was outdoor. Um, so, yeah, he talked to me about this and he, he knew that it was a fast pool. <laughs> So that's pretty cool to, to swim fast in this one. Uh, so what what will you what will you be swimming in San Antonio, and therefore what events are you going to focus on this summer? Uh, so I'm going to try to qualify on the 200 AM, 400 AM, uh, 200 breaststroke, and maybe the, the 234 for the French relay. In your first year swimming at Arizona State, what do you think you have improved on the most? What have been your biggest changes in swimming since you got to the U.S.? I think I'm having a lot more fun here than in France uh, because the first thing is short course here is very fun. <laughs> I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot more relay here. Uh, it's more like a team, and we're like very, very nice to to ourselves. So that's pretty cool. And. I learned to swim for, for the team too, to try to bring the most points that I can for ASU. Um, and another thing is that the training is different here. Uh, there is more intensity and I improved a lot in underwater kick and, and backstroke too.